You guys ever just enjoy a nice, slow, easy day at the range? Hey, would you consider that your favorite pistol? My Colt 1911? Uh, probably like my top five favorite. Let's do it. Oh boy. Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms out here at Take Aim Training and Range on a nice, hot, beautiful day. Got some guns laid out here and apparently it just got surprised on me or sprung on me that I'm gonna list off my top five favorite pistols. Now, Ryan, I gotta ask though, is it, does it have to be in order? It doesn't have to be in order, but you do have to pick a favorite. Mm. All right, that's gonna be rough. Well, anyway, if you couldn't tell from the intro of the video, I do really enjoy shooting my Colt 1911 and 1911 style pistols. This is my Colt railgun chambered in 45 ACP and I do indeed love these old school 1911s. This was the first pistol I ever fired right here. This was my dad's Colt 1911 government model and a very sweet one. This is what I learned how to shoot on a pistol, believe it or not, when I was a little dude. Yeah, he said, put a 45 in his hands. <laughs> if he's man enough to handle it, he must be my son. So there we go. Anyway, so 1911s, definitely a big fan of. And I think something you might find on my list is that just about all of the guns I'm gonna talk about are hammer fired. Nothing striker fired, I don't think it's gonna make it to my list in my head here. But we got a couple of them that we actually have out here that uh, <laughs> we have available to show you guys. I would probably say my next favorite, hammer fired, also 45 ACP, my FNX 45 Tactical. That big beastie boy is so much fun. In fact, I know we got some clips of me shooting that thing. Oh, yes, sir. I can shoot this thing all day long and absolutely love every single trigger pull. This gun right here, as I said, was designed from the ground up to be a combat handgun. It was made for the uh, Joint Combat Pistol Program, which was designed or set up to replace the ever famous M9 Beretta. And this was FN's, uh, I guess you could say, their throw into the ring here, throwing their hat into the ring with the FNX. Actually, at that point in time was the FNP 45. The FNX is just a newer model, has a little bit uh, firmer polymers in the frame, has a little bit lower bore axis and some internal differences, but ultimately the FNX and FNP are very similar pistols. So it's the FNX 45 Tactical is the newer model. And man, guys, oh, I could shoot this guy, like I said, all day long. Yeah, I love it. 15 rounds of 45 ACP where the 1911 kind of fails, you know, standard is seven, but you know, this is a Wilson Combat eight round mag. So the fact that the FNX is a lighter gun, polymer frame, but still so freaking sweet coming in with 15 rounds, threaded barrel, suppressor height night sights. Mine I put on a Trijicon RMR because why not? And of course, yes, I do love to shoot it suppressed as well. All right, rolling onto it, continuing on with the hammer fired, the threaded barrel, my Beretta M9A3. Now, this one here has a little bit more of a sentimental value to it as well, I guess, because the M9 is what I was issued in the Marine Corps, or am issued whenever they need me to have a pistol, I guess. Uh, however, the M9s that were issued look nowhere near as cool, tactical, or good as this M9A3, and then whenever we got some of them in the warehouse at a great price, by the way, uh, you should go check that price out, I figured, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make one of these mine, right? So here's the Beretta M9A3, already coming with the night sights as well that are slightly raised. I can still see the uh, suppressor uh, with them though. So, you know, that's one little hit, but the thing is those suppressors still mount up nice to it and shoot really well. In fact, it shoots so well, let's shoot it some. How about it? And I got a little orange target out there. Let's just take a couple of quick shots here. That's fun and all, but I talked about shooting it suppressed. So, uh, one second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely tell I just recently lubed this guy up. Oh, yeah. There it is. Something you do have to do with pistol cans keep them clean. Yeah, I lubed this one up before we shot it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is too much fun. Maybe I put a little bit too much ballistol in there, but 
whatever, at least it looks cool, right? Yeah, shooting suppressed is a lot of fun. Just make sure you keep them clean then, yeah. <laughs> so, so far, yeah, so everything we've talked about has been hammer fired. 1911s, the FNX 45 Tactical, the Beretta M9A3. And I think we're gonna keep on with that because I'm also a really big fan of that one pistol we shot, the race gun, that CZ Checkmate. That thing was a very smooth shooter, excellent trigger, and I really, really enjoyed running the tree with that guy. Uh, yeah, have a watch. But let's just shoot it, let's just see how it shoots. I'm gonna shoot it relatively slow for a second. I just want you guys to see the recoil with this big old beefy brake that it has on it, okay? Or comp, or whatever you wanna call it. Anyway. Nothing. Oh my goodness, talk about a sweet shooter. God, that feels good. All right, Ryan, just go ahead and take a look at the tree because I want to see if I can run this thing as quick as I possibly can here. I might have to do a reload, but that's okay. Oh. All right, one more time. One more time with the tree here. We got this. No misses, as quick as I can. Let's go. Oh, that's too fast. There we go. <laughs> Takes a little bit of getting used to, but man, this thing is nice, guys. All right, so first off, yes, it comes with the red dot that you see on here by Seymour. And this thing right here, I think is like around a $300 optic, and it is super nice. So a lot of you guys might be like, well, what's the difference between that and my, you know, Venom or Viper or RMR or whatever? And it's like, well, obviously it's mounting platform, so it actually mounts to the frame of the gun, not the slide of the gun. So therefore, naturally, it's already gonna hold a better zero. It's not gonna be moving around, bouncing around all the play all over while the slide's moving, right? Pretty cool. Next thing you might notice too, the actual red dot itself, it's not sitting back here where you know most of your red dots are sitting, it's actually sitting a lot more forward of the firearm itself. So it makes it to pick up a little bit easier, I guess you could say. So to get on target and to pick up that red dot, super fast. So yeah, it's gonna take getting used to. Shooting with red dots on pistols, it just will. I think we even did a video on that. So you just got to shoot with it and practice, but you'll see that this is actually gonna come pretty naturally to a lot of shooters that are used to iron sights as it is. So shooting it with the red dot attached, no big deal whatsoever. Oh my goodness, this thing just rocks. So yeah, so if you are looking for a competition series CZ, then that would be the one for you for sure, all right? Uh, the next gun I also don't have here, and uh, actually I think that's like the last one that I'm about to talk about, right? Yeah, that is the uh, Swiss Luger. Yes, yes it is. The Swiss Luger, having shot one of those, I think just because of its mechanism, its design, and also just how historic this firearm is. Oh, yeah, here, just watch it get shot. Guys, we've got one of our Waffenfabrik burn Swiss Lugers right here. These things are so cool. Let's do a Luger dump, how about it? <laughs> it's raining brass and I love it. <laughs> All right, now, after all said and done, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do have a, I, I can't do it. All right, there's a six gun, okay? There's a six gun, but it's not exactly your standard pistol. I've got a Honey Badger here by Q, and it's chambered in 300 blackout, but I've got this as a representation for all AR pistols because I love them. They are a heck of a lot of fun, and uh, I advise everybody to get one. Whether it be chambered in 300 blackout, 5.56, even pistol calibers like 9 mil, uh, you just need to have an AR pistol in your life. I've got some what, 300. In fact, what makes that a pistol? What makes this a pistol? Yeah. Ah, so that's a uh, very good question because things get a little weird, especially involving the NFA. What makes this guy a, a pistol is the fact that Q manufactured this firearm, this pistol, as a pistol, and it doesn't have an adjustable stock on it. It has a brace. How can you tell the difference between a stock and a brace? Well, the brace is typically I, uh, has a Velcro strap on it, or at least it has points on it to where you can run a strap through it, so that way you can appropriately use the brace by sliding it over your arm, strapping it down, makes it a little bit easier to shoot single-handed. However, um, that's the difference between stocks and braces. Stocks, you know, you can actually like shoulder and cheek weld, things like that. And short barreled rifles, you can throw on vertical grips. Um, if you have a pistol where the overall length is greater than 26 inches, you can have a vertical grip. And the overall length is determined by barrel length all the way to the brace or 
whatever you're gonna have back there. You know, it could just be a regular pistol buffer, whatever you want it to be. So if the overall barrel length is like 14 inches and then you get like an extra long, you know, brace or whatever, then you can throw on a vertical grip as long as, again, as it's greater than 26 inches. But it's pretty funny stuff. Just make sure if you guys are out there building your own things, make sure you're just doing it legally because I'd hate to see one of you guys wind up somewhere you don't want to be just because you're trying to have some fun oh well it is what it is but anyway i got some 300 black out here let's uh let's shoot the honey badger some and uh if you guys don't know about the honey badger well we actually gave one away not too too long ago but these things are pretty sweet they actually have a whole different type of mechanism in here a recoil mechanism and all and uh, so if you want to look up more information about this guy make sure you check out one of our previous giveaway videos for the honey badger now let's turn on my little vortex here there we go i can see it let's shoot this guy Ah, that's all I wanted to do because this thing is sweet. The cherry bomb is what they call the uh, muzzle device at the end. And as you can tell, it makes one heck of a flash signature. It's just ridiculous and I love it. But anyway, that's the honey badger. So yeah, my top six guns we've got. And if I have to, uh, man, all right. So my, my number one, sentimental reasons, Colt 1911, 45 ACP. All right. That is through and through my number one pick. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be down there in the comments lighting me up about this. I will say an honorable mention though is my Glock 19. I do love my Glock 19. However, uh, I've been running my Breda M9A3, my FNX 45 Tactical more than I have it, but for concealed carry, you know, like uh, winter time concealed carry, whenever you can actually layer up a little bit more and conceal a little bit more, my Glock 19 is my go-to, so. There you guys have it. Uh, I'm calling it. That's what I'm saying. That's that's my top six pistols with my favorite. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to holler at you guys. I wanna hear all about it. Uh, but the last gun I'm gonna talk about today isn't a pistol. It's not a pistol at all. It's actually a FN SCAR 20S chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor coming with the Trigicon 10 mile scope. This is a 3 to 18 by 44 optic and it is a sweet shooter guys. This thing is a heck of a lot of fun and uh, I mean it's a SCAR 20S that's you know it's got the black camo you know camo. <laughs> Anyway, if you don't know why I'm laughing about that, go watch the video unveiling. This is our giveaway. It does come with these Zeiss rings as well, which I like quite a bit. Or excuse me, not Zeiss, but Steiner rings, which I like quite a bit. And of course, that Trigicon Optic 110 round mag. And uh, get your entries at ClassicFirearms.com at no cost to you guys, all right? We'll see you guys again next time at ClassicFirearms.com. Hit that banner at the top to get your entries in for the SCAR. God bless you all, and we'll see you next time. I've said Classic Firearms way too many times, but at ClassicFirearms.com. <laughs>